there's the the tied flycatcher. Oh, I can see it. I can see the male and I can see the female like under the bush. Oh, both of them are right there. So they're getting nesting material underneath the bush right there. Let's see if I can get some footage of it. They actually have a camera inside of that nesting box and I was so happy to see that the the flycatchers decided to move in. So I placed myself maybe somewhere here. There's the female. Maybe the wrong focus area. <laughs> Such a cutie. I'm not really a fan of having like the the barn in the background. I want some greens in the background. I'm gonna... So here I'm going for the focus mode or the, the focus area spot and small because with all of these small branches <laughs> there's no way that like the the wide <laughs> focus area will find focus but uh, well, I'm gonna see later if I can get a glimpse of the male I'm gonna leave them alone for a while and uh, I think I'm gonna have a little walk in the forest actually That the pied flycatcher again, maybe? Yep. I'm gonna use this as a tripod to get more stable. <laughs> I'm passing up. <laughs> I, need to, I need to hold my breath to get like the stable footage and sometimes like after walking, that's a pain. I'm getting pretty close here. The lighting is not that ideal. It's very bright and sunny. So inside of the forest like this, it looks much better than it does in direct sunlight. Oh, please perch on that mossy branch. Please, please, please. No. <laughs> Crap. Well, let's have a walk in the forest. I know there's some someone living in there as well. Look at the, the red pine cones or what it is. And they're lit up by the sun. That's pretty nice. I need to take a closer look at that. Look how red they are. Gives this kind of Christmas feeling. Haha. <laughs> <laughs> I have a nesting box for a for tawny owls up here, as you probably know if you follow my channel. And uh, there's actually three chicks or owlets, or what they call them in English, inside of the box. It's fantastic. <laughs> and I have a camera up, like outside of the box. I get like notifications every night when when the male is delivering food soon it's time for them to leave the box so i'm very excited for that oh the amount of mosquitoes like this is where they're at <laughs> during the day the mosquitoes so i heard something crack in there so it's probably a deer Yes, I think it's deer. I wonder if we can get closer, but this is the worst thing to sneak on. They have already seen me. <laughs> and they're gone. No, I won't bother.
Oh crap. Uh, that was wet. Ah. I can only hear a lot of birds. I can't see them. <laughs> I cannot see a single bird. I can see one. <laughs> Way up in the trees. That is one bad photograph. I'm actually gonna go a bit further and stand still to wait a bit because I can see a lot of birds over there. Thing. Yes, we did. Nice. Nice that somebody wanted to perch pretty far down at least. <laughs> Imagine having like a hide here in early morning. So I'm borrowing this A7R5 from Sony just because I wanted to try it out basically and I decided to set this wheel right here to to change focus area by just scrolling on it and then you can like lock it and really like this so I'm gonna actually do the same on my A7IV it's uh, definitely a new thing in my workflow this is very beautiful Where this leads <laughs> that sounded like the generic video game phrase <laughs> you know when you're stuck somewhere in a video game like and the game developer just <laughs> they just want to give you clues because you're stupid and you don't know where to go like you walk like this and hey i should be a key somewhere here i wonder if there's something that can open this door somewhere here oh i need to find that key <laughs> you know I heard that speaking of video games like there there is some kind of wildlife photography video game on, on Steam or something <laughs> I haven't tried it but it would be pretty cool to try I prefer doing it in real life obviously it's starting to get super wet in the ground yeah it's too wet I'm heading back to the garden to see if I can get some shots of that pied flycatcher again. I want a photo in the flowers, they are beautiful.
as a woodpecker. Let's go to another spot. I don't know if you can see that, but there's a roger standing by the water right there. And she's been standing there and many times I've been driving past her. So I'm gonna park the car here and kind of sneak around the house to see if I can get a reflection shot of it. I walk here and then sneaking behind the tree here, trying to get down in eyeball with the, the deer. Could work. That wasn't too exciting. <laughs> Let's go. I have never been to the location where I'm going at like this time of, of the day. I'm hoping to see some badgers. So me and my son went out on a little hike <laughs> a couple of weeks ago when we found a little a pretty large badger set so i'm gonna go and set up a camo net and wait see if something appears and i still have the a7r5 on but i have the 70 to 200 because they will probably appear very late so i don't even know if the gopro is gonna handle it probably not <laughs> okay we need to try out the camera zoom into 200 and we're gonna <laughs> That is not a fancy composition or anything, but just trying out the lens, I guess. <laughs> so I can see fog over there and I can see deer way over there. Yep. So the badger set is right here somewhere. So I'm going to have to pass here, but so luckily there's like a tractor road out on this field so I can walk on it. What do we have there? Flying. Looks like a red kite. But I only have 200 millimeters. What do we have here? Maybe we should take a little landscape shot of these trees, but I'm not sure my 70 to 200 is wide enough. Oh, it is. Look at that. 